All right, this is another quick little video. And this is mostly centered on this guy right here. This is a TS-318 from Night Morning Design. And uh, yeah, since it's in the 300 series, it's from Night Morning and uh, the pivot's a little large. Uh, it does have something a little bit kind of unique kind of going on is that is that it has uh, multi-row bearings. Like I talked with the uh, TS-308 and uh, oh, the black and red G10. One, that's another 300 that uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, something that I did kind of want to point out with these guys. that um, Something that they could probably improve on a little bit here. Uh, this is kind of how they end up doing a lot of their uh, single row bearings. Where you have this uh, bearing race that has a nice little carved track for it and everything like that. Uh, this is a TS-169. I'm going to review this one relatively quickly here. Uh, in the near future, at least. But yeah, that's generally how they uh, they end up doing their uh, their single row bearings. This one is a little bit different. Pull the clip out. And then the front. And pull this out. Okay, so this is the uh, the bearing races that they are using for their multi-row bearings, like these. And uh, they don't really have any races going on on them. Which uh, shouldn't be too incredibly difficult, because these are just uh, two-row bearings. So it really should be possible for them to uh, do that, at least in the future. But uh, yeah, that does make them, even though they are multi-row bearings, they do feel a little bit more rigid because they do have two rows that are uh, riding on there but since they don't have those ridges they do feel they're not quite as um drop shutty as you would say as uh, a lot of others are so that's something they could probably improve upon in the uh in the future is uh kind of working on their multi-row bearing races especially since they've uh now taken the time to develop or use these um these multi-row bearings on more and more knives it would be nice to uh kind of get them up there a little bit like i'm saying um the uh the action on them is pretty darn good but not quite as um frictionless as you would get on uh, something like this where they're just riding on an actual track there so yeah i mean otherwise this is a pretty darn interesting little knife it's got a whole bunch of pegs here in different sizes for the uh, the backspacer, which is a little bit different. As well as, you know, a little barrel backspacer there on the end. It's a pretty hard-use little folder. It's uh, pretty interesting overall. I do like it. But, uh, yeah, that was just something that uh, I'd kind of noticed about these multi-row bearings. Is, uh, their races aren't quite as um, up to snuff as uh, a lot of their uh, single rows are. So, yeah, probably something that they'll be working on in the uh, in the future to uh, improve on. But, you know, if uh, me and other people don't end up making videos like this, then uh, they don't end up seeing a lot of that. So I hope this does some good for, uh, you know, Tucson and uh, all of us because of that. So, all right, that's all I really wanted to talk about with these multi-row bearings. So, uh, as always, appreciate y'all for watching. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, yo. And subscribe.